Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today I'm going to look at hyaluronic acid or hyaluronin. This is a component in the body and is present in many tissues. After reviewing the information available, we have started taking it as a supplement. In this video, we will review hyaluronin in the body and why we have chosen to take it in the liposomal form. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing our personal experience and updates. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. HA is present in many tissues in the body. About half of it by weight is contained in the skin, where it is a key part of the extracellular matrix and helps retain moisture. It is also plentiful in the synovial fluid in joints, where it acts as a lubricant. As well as these functions of being a lubricant and hydrating agent, it also plays a crucial role as an anti-inflammatory in wound healing and in redirecting blood flow to damaged tissue. So what is hyaluronic acid? It's a long molecule which consists of repeating elements of two sugars. The length of the chain of sugars can vary, so you may hear of high, medium or low molecular weight, HA. This refers to the number of sugars in the chain. The issue with hyaluronic acid is that it goes down with age. The levels in a 60 year old are half those of someone in their 20s, and the levels continue to decline as we get older. This contributes to appearance of aging skin and age related conditions such as osteoarthritis. So we would like to boost our HA. So perhaps the first question would be whether it is safe. Let's have a look at this review paper. The paper was considering hyaluronin's efficacy against joint pain, but also looked at the safety. The most concentrated source of HA is Roostercone, which has been used in Europe and China for many years. It was approved in Japan in 1992. It's widely available with no reported adverse effects. Clinical trials on safety have also been conducted. This review listed nine studies with doses ranging from 60 to 240 milligrams per day with no adverse events related to HA. Let's look at a couple of areas that are affected by lowering hyaluronin levels as we age. The first of these is skin. Skin changes associated with aging are loss of hydration and elasticity. Wrinkles in the face are a visible sign of this process. HA is a major component of the extracellular matrix of the skin and plays a key role in its metabolism. As we discussed, with aging, the HA content of the skin decreases, and in senile skin, the HA has entirely disappeared from the epidermis. There have been a number of studies which have looked at oral HA as a way to increase the hyaluronic acid quantity in the skin. This is one of them, looking at skin hydration, wrinkle reduction, elasticity, and skin roughness. 20 female participants from 40 to 60 years old took a product which was largely based on HA for 40 days. At the end of the study, a set of parameters for the skin was assessed. The intake of the HA increased skin elasticity, hydration, and decreased roughness and wrinkle depth. In this second paper from Japan on a placebo-controlled trial, the content of the skin moisture was measured, and we can see a significant increase in the HA-treated group. The dose of these studies was typically 120 to 240 milligrams per day. In another recent study, it was shown that it takes the hyaluronin 28 days from ingestion to make it into the skin, so the supplementation needs to be long-term to be effective. Now turning to hyaluronin in joints. Synovial fluid is a viscous fluid found in synovial joints. The principal role of this fluid is to reduce friction between the cartilage during movement. Synovial fluid is largely composed of hyaluronic acid. In this review paper of oral hyaluronic acid as a treatment for knee pain, they found that oral HA did have some efficacy at relieving knee joint pain in a number of clinical trials. There have also been some studies which looked at the bioavailability of HA. Here is one example from a team in Japan. 
they found that the long chain HA was broken up into smaller chains before being absorbed and distributed around the body. The oligosaccharides here refer to short chains of sugar, generally three to 10 in length. In this article, specifically looking at the bioavailability, they mentioned that its short half-life and quick degradation cause it to have low bioavailability. As mentioned, we are taking hyaluronic acid. We're taking it in liposomal form. Liposomes have been shown to improve bioavailability of other molecules, such as vitamin C. In this case, we are looking for the liposomes to transport the larger molecules into the blood intact, rather than having it broken down by the bacteria in the gut, which seems to happen to the native form. We hope that it will improve our skin condition and maintain our joint health. You can find a link for a 10% discount on Alive by Science products, including their liposomal hyaluronic acid, in the description. Professor Gorbanova, who studies the long-lived naked mole rat, attributes some of its longevity to the large amount of hyaluronic acid that it has. Let's hear what she has to say about hyaluronic acid. Uh, so, yeah, what's the role of hyaluronic acid in it? Um, you know, the first time we discovered it, that was a complete shock. We were looking for a mechanism that makes them resistant to cancer. Uh, and we noticed that when we grow uh, naked morat cells in a culture dish, they secrete something in the media that makes it viscous. And we found that it is hyaluron. And like human cells would never make media viscous. They, they make a hyaluron and it's just very small amount. Uh, but with naked morat cells, yeah, the media would get viscous. We could purify <laughs> hyaluron from it. And what happens in vivo, what we see that hyaluron prevents a proliferation of premalignant cells. So in general, long molecules of hyaluron have anti-proliferative effect. So it slows down tumor development. Uh, so this is what we understand about its role. If let's say we take naked morat cells and uh, uh, knock down a gene that's responsible for hyaluron production, and then these cells become more susceptible to form tumors. So that's what uh, mm -hmm. is very clear. Uh, now, how does it help naked morats otherwise? Mm. Uh, we see benefits for arthritis uh, because hyaluron, it's a component of um, you know, many connective tissues. It kind of fills spaces between cells. And there is a lot of hyaluron in, in the joint tissue. Uh, and with naked morats, their joints are very robust. Uh, there is, the cartilage is very strong. Um, and we tried experimentally to induce arthritis in them using the same model as in mice, and they just don't develop arthritis. Uh, so that helps them. Uh, hyaluronin also has uh, anti-inflammatory effects on the cells, on immune cells. So that may help naked morats to avoid inflammation. 